Hey everyone, in today's video we'll be creating an alarm clock. This video will build on the last video in which we installed the Home Assistant Community Store and the Alexa Media Player integration. If you aren't interested in having your alarm clock play music or you just don't have an Amazon device capable of using her, um, don't worry about it, just watch this video. If you're just interested in helpers and automations, this will probably help you out a little bit too. Anyway, the alarm clock is going to look a little something like this. We'll have a helper to input the time and we'll have a helper toggle switch to only activate the alarm when the toggle is on. When the alarm clock conditions are met, we'll have an automation that opens our blinds, turns on the lights and plays some music. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, first order of business is gonna to be to create some helpers. Go to configuration, go to helpers, and add helper. As you can see, you got all kinds of variables here. Um, they're useful for a lot of things. Today, we'll just be dealing with the date and time and the toggle. Uh, obviously, we're gonna need the date and time. Don't even need the date, just the time. And let's call this alarmed and we're gonna use that to obviously put in the time that we want our alarm to go off and let's go ahead and add a toggle and we will call that alarmed as well alarmed toggle all right very simple All right, so those two helpers are gonna be entities within our Home Assistant build. But when you go to drop them on cards, you're gonna, you might get a little confused because if you just put it as an entity, uh, go down to your inputs and there we go. You notice it's not like you, you can come in here and toggle it but you can't just click it on the screen. So we don't want that. When you add your card, go to your entities. And now when you add your input, it's just like that. Now for the toggle, I'm gonna show you something to make this a little nicer later. We're gonna have a switch and we're gonna create an icon template so that when the switch is on, you get a nice little on icon, and when the switch is off, you get a nice little off icon. But as far as adding the time and all that, you wanna use the entities card because it has more functionality. It, the other card just shows you if it's on or off or what the actual status is. Just wanted to throw that in here before we got any deeper because when I went to do this, it was frustrating me. All right, now that we've got a basic understanding of helpers and how they're gonna appear on the dashboard, let's go ahead and create that automation. Go to configuration, automations, add automation. We're not gonna be using a blueprint and we're not gonna try to describe to Home Assistant what it is we want so that they can create it for us. So go ahead and start with an empty automation. Stick with the theme and call it alarmed. We want it to be triggered based on the time. We don't want fixed time because that means whenever you want to change your alarm clock, you'll have to come all the way into the automations panel and set it here. So we want it to be set to our helper so that we can set it on our dashboard. And now we don't want this to go off every day either. Sometimes you want to sleep in and you want to toggle it off, which is why we created a toggle. And your first reaction might be to add a trigger, but you don't want to do that because that just gives it essentially an or statement because if any of these conditions under triggers are met the automation will fire instead add a condition it's going to be and meaning that this condition and this condition must be met in order for the automation to trigger so we want the state of our toggle to be on so that the alarm only goes off when we want it to and just like that Everything's set. Now all we gotta do is add some actions. All right, chances are, unless you're a graveyard shift worker or you have some kind of appointment in the middle of the night, 
no judgment. But this alarm is probably being used in the daytime, if not right when the sun wakes up. Um, we're going to utilize that natural light and try to wake ourselves up peacefully before we start assaulting our senses with artificial means. Let's uh, select our smart blinds. And you're only going to have one option here, and that's to change the position. On these, the all the way open position is 100. I like to set it to 98 because I don't like it rolling all the way up into itself. And with that, you got light. Um, maybe you're lazy or maybe you need even more light to wake up. So let's go ahead and do step two. Let's turn on the lights. hundred percent. All right. Now you're probably already awake. The lights got turned on for you. You're nice and peaceful in bed. You want to listen to some Backstreet Boys or you're not awake yet. And you just want your ears to bleed so that you can wake up. So let's go ahead and call service. We're going to do media player dot play media. Find your entity here. I'm going to be using my echo dot. Here's its name. Just going to paste this in here. Entity ID, the uh, entity we just found. Media content type. If you have an echo or an echo dot, Amazon Music's already built in there. Um, if you got the premium version, it's even better because you can use whatever you want. I'm pretty sure you can use Spotify or something on here as well. But for this video, we're just going with this. And in media content ID, you can put whatever you want. If you got premium, you've got limitless choices here. You can do playlists, genres, artists, songs, whatever you want. At this point, if you're not awake, um, I don't know, you probably need a smart shower above your bed. So we can add that. I don't have that. So this is what we're going with. We're done here. The next step is to get this on the dashboard so that we can activate it and enjoy it. All right, we're going to do this the dirty way first. Um, I'll do a horizontal stack. This isn't going to change, but what we put in the horizontal stack is going to change. Uh, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, this is the simplest way to get your interactive buttons and inputs onto the dashboard. Um, put your... And then we're going to add the toggle. All right, now you can edit this all right here, but it looks disgusting. I want to throw up just looking at it. So we're going to go and delete these. And remember in the beginning when I told you if you just selected the entity card, it would confuse you. All right, well, let's get confused. Um, let's add our alarm clock. This is much better because look at this. You can even put alarm clock just looks a lot nicer and I feel like with most alarm clocks you got to click into them to change the time anyway this isn't sending us all the way back to the automation panel it's just a simple click and input and they want you to do this in military time and it displays in your regular standard time so you can't ask for much more um, I think that looks a lot better for the second part we're gonna create the switch that I uh, briefly showed you guys in the beginning of the video and we're going to do that with a template. Open up your switch.yaml file. You're going to want to create a platform template. Switches. And then here's our alarm switch. Uh, we're going to have it based on the status of the toggle. When the switch is turned on, we're going to call the input boolean turn on service. And obviously it's going to be performed on our alarm toggle. When you turn the switch off, ditto. It's gonna turn it off. And here's here's where the magic comes in. Usually it would just change the color of the icon when you turn the switch on or off. But we want the toggle to reflect that it's on or off. We don't just want it to turn yellow. So we're gonna have, we're gonna grab the state of the toggle. And if it's on, we're gonna display the toggle switch, which is gonna have the toggle to the right. Else, and there's only one other state it can be in, which is not on, the switch is going to be off. And that's going to show the icon with the toggle switch to the left. 
uh, once you got that, I'm going to put this in the description and in the blog post. Um, once you've done that, save it, restart your home assistant, and let's go back to our alarm panel. Get the name out of there, and it looks wonderful. I mean, it, even if that's too big for you, you know, you can edit the height of the uh, icon and all that too. Right here. You know, tiny, beautiful. I like 50, it matches up nice. Look at that, just like that. Awesome. Now let's go test this thing. All right, it's uh, 9.24. Alarm set for 9.25. And uh, let's just wait and see what happens. Any minute. Alexa, stop. And as you can see, it works beautifully. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what else you guys want to see. As always, need any help, ask in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.